Wow. Nice to see you, Good friend. Nice to see you, too. Kinsey is the uh, the director of the test kitchens at Ninja. Mm -hmm. And we debuted this item in March. Yes. Sold it out completely <laughs> and brought it back in today. In black or gray, those are the two color choices. If you want the black, I have 1,200 remaining. Oh, wow. If you want the gray, 300 remain. That is all we have. Now, this is a multi cooker making everything possible in the kitchen. It is. We like to call it the possible cooker because it is making everything possible. And I love that it does everything your traditional slow cooker can do. So it will slow cook, but it does so much more. It's able to bake, it's able to sous vide, it's able to proof. You can really do so much here. And it comes with this nifty ladle, which I absolutely love the way we've designed it so that you can ladle and strain. And David, this is a non-stick pot that does pop right out and you can bring it to your countertop. But now let's... this is going to replace yep. 14 tools in the kitchen. It is. And this print is small, so I'm gonna walk up to the monitor. <laughs> so slow cooker steam oven, steamer saucepan, non-stick pot saute pan, cast yes. iron skillet, saucier, stock pot, Dutch oven, roasting pan, bread maker, food warmer. And there's even an integrated spoon. And you're probably wondering, how does a multi-cooker replace your pot um, and your ability to sear? And that's because it's not just any slow cooker. We have that side wrap heat, but we also have that bottom heat here. Mm. So you can hear, I'm hoping, that sizzle oh, from our it. pot roast. And now I'm gonna go from searing my pot roast. Look how nice and brown it got. And there on the, uh, the photo, you see the heating element. I'm gonna add my veggies. The mirepoix. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my gravy. And you can hear it kind of start to slow down. And now I'm gonna slow cook from that nice crispy outside and slow cook to create a delicious stew or pot roast or whatever you want to make. Now, is this Careful cool to pick up? We should probably use yeah. some towels. <laughs> uh, have we, we have one over here that's cold. Okay, let me show you that this center cook well is removable. So if you're looking to serve out of this, look, this comes up and out of the cooker. What's the capacity of this pan? Eight and a half quarts. Eight and a half quarts. Mm -hmm. So you're also going to be able to pop this into the sink for quick and easy cleanup or the dishwasher. Dishwasher too, yeah. And it comes with a cooking rack, a see-through lid, and this specially designed ladle that has a pour spout on one side and allows you to strain on the other. So really, really impressive. There are eight cooking modes on the front here that you that you swap out between. What are you cooking next? So next I'm doing a baked mac and cheese because yes, of course, right, we've got mac and cheese. But what I want to show you as I pull this mac and cheese out, and David, mm. would you mind passing me a bowl? Thank you so much. As I'm pulling this out, I want you to see that non-stick in action. Do you see how it just wipes away? Even though this is that baked mac and cheese and you can see we've got that nice crisp on the edge, it just pulls away from our non-stick surface. So I love that it is easy to clean. If you choose to clean it by hand, it will wipe clean. But of course, it's Ninja, so everything is dishwasher safe. I can tell you this will do so many jobs. Earn its place on your countertop. Oh, yeah. Replace all those other Appliances that you may have in the kitchen. Maybe you're doing pulled pork. This smells mm -hmm. delightful, by the way. Doesn't it? And you're making pulled pork sandwiches, pulled chicken sandwiches. Pulled chicken. I mean, it is September, so we're on the precipice of fall, right? Football season is away. starting. Let's do some quick and easy meals that we don't have to tend to while we're enjoying the game, or maybe we're out to work, or the kids are back to school. I know so many people have kids going back to school. What would you do if you could make life a little bit easier? If you could prep the night before Sounds and great. come back to a perfectly, or the night, uh, the day, morning of, and come back to dinner perfectly made. I mean, it can be so much easier to cook at home when you kind of set yourself up for success and you don't have to worry about how you're getting. Uh, dinner on the table. Miss Kinsey, 1,000 of these are gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, if you want the gray that we're working in here, 150 remain. If you want the black, fewer than 1,000. Now, this next recipe is one that I recently tried. Yep. And I've fallen in love with. I call it low carb chicken casserole. Mm -hmm. Now, this starts with boneless, skinless chicken breast. You buy a pack of two, you cut them in half. Mm -hmm. Then you mix together softened cream cheese shredded sharp cheddar, and cooked crumbled bacon. I mean, and delicious. And smear it on top. <laughs> then cover it with more shredded cheese. And the only thing I don't see here, which you, what I usually add, um, scallions. 
Exactly. And the chicken breasts will come out in one fell swoop. <laughs> and each breast is a serving. Mm -hmm. Now, this will get creamy and cheesy and bacony. And, and you throw in some scallions and you got that little taste of onion. Mm -hmm. And it's so good and it's so low carb. You, uh, you know where I found this? I found it on YouTube. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Well, I have to tell you, I heard about this from you. And I'm about to take you this need to, to my try, dinner repertoire. Yeah, you need to try <laughs> for this for your kids. family. I know you have a young family. You have a young kids at home. Um, this is so exciting. Now, what do we have in here? Now, again, this is where it sets apart because did you know that you could bake focaccia in a slow cooker? Oh, my word. No, you can't because you don't have the Ninja Possible cooker. But with the Ninja Possible cooker, you can actually proof and bake bread in here. So it really does become an oven. And we included this adorable amazing. little rack. So that, right? Do you smell that? Smell of that focaccia. Mm. And with the rack, you're able to bake. You could even roast on the rack if you want to keep your dripping separate than your roast. You could do that as well. But I, I love how easy pizza that is. In here? Yeah, definitely. How you doing? Right. All right. Uh, this smells delightful. What is this? Now this is a bolognese, and traditionally I'd That's make a bolognese on my stove, right? Because I need to like brown exactly. I need so to brown, brown my the, beef. Yeah. Yep. And well, then if you're you doing add a your mixture like um, sausage and ground beef. And this is more of a traditional bolognese, so it doesn't have that red color because it's very much the meat and the veggies are the hero. So but this if is, you want to add the red sauce, yeah. you can. Oh yeah, you can just go ahead on and toss here. it right on top. Or if you wanted to, of course, you could mix it in with your ground beef and then let that simmer. Do this, let it sit there so that when your kids come home from soccer practice or violin or whatever it is, everyone can uh, toss up their own. What about cobbler? It's fall, almost. <laughs> we didn't forget about dessert, right? The ability to do desserts, maybe if you're entertaining, you don't want to take up your Just oven eight space. Eight and a half quarts of cobbler. Eight and a half quarts of a delicious cobbler. And of course, it wouldn't be complete unless you served it on top of some ice cream. With some whipped topping. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, delicious. You could do you? berries. You could do any fresh fruit. You could do all the summer fruits that oh, are yeah. in season, the peaches, the blueberries. Do peaches and raspberry. I mean, how delicious and so fun. This is one of my daughter's favorite because she loves berries. No, and no then one tells cobbler, you. Cobbler like apple for mm -hmm. the fall. Maybe pumpkin bread pudding in here. Exactly. This is a dynamic. Now we have it in the. Now I know this looks blue, but for ordering purposes, order gray. <laughs> okay. We're last call in the gray. Oh wow. If you want the black, I have 950 remaining. Going quick. 1,200 have been spoken <laughs> for. This machine will replace so many things in your kitchen. And look, the cookwell comes out. Now, if this is hot, the handles are going to be hot. Yeah, the handles so use will oven be hot. Mitts. Use oven mitts. You can take this right to the table and serve in it. You can pop it in your sink for quick and easy cleanup because that's a nonstick coating. Mm -hmm. You can also throw it in your dishwasher if you choose. This will heat around the sides and from the bottom. Yep. You now, can gray. Sear and breeze. Gray has sold out. Oh, wow. In the black, I have 950 remaining. And wow. how many ordered now? 1,200 are gone. Thank Kenzie you. Swanhart. So good to see you, nice David. Nice to see you. And give new baby Nate a hug oh, for us. I will. Thank you. And big you. sister, Liv. Is it Olivia? Evie, but you were Evie, very Evie, close. Evie, yeah, Evie. yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much thank for being here. Thank you so here. much, David. And have a safe holiday weekend. Thank you, you too. All right, we want to thank the 685 people who made their first purchase during uh, our show today and give you a big foodie salute and welcome you to QVC. A real pleasure. Now, Racino Grasso is, just has the day off today because it's holiday weekend. She will be back next Sunday, so have no fear. Big Bite Steve is on vacation for the next couple of weeks, so I'll be flying solo on Wednesday night, and that's when I'm back with you again as we take you shopping for lots more kitchen goodies on Wednesday night. But in the meantime, Sandra Bennett is up next. She has an hour of lock and lock, and of course, the star of the show will be Chris Prime and our today's special value. I'll see you again soon. Have a safe and happy Labor Day.